Welcome to Spotlight on Square Dancing. Our featured caller today is none other than the legendary Ed Pabst. Calling a square dance is not for the faint of heart. It requires timing, years of study and education, and a good singing voice. Ed has all of those. The best callers are also good looking and have a great personality. Ed has his gorgeous wife, Carol. Like so many callers, Ed didn't take the direct route. In his youth, he tried to satisfy his entertainer soul first by doing things differently. Realizing an underserved market, for years he would scour the Amazon jungle looking for eight people to put in a circle. He learned how to say, circle left, in 12 languages, including Portuguese, Pig Latin, and Klingon. Outside of square dancing, Ed was one of eight astronaut callers assigned to the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. While trying an experimental rocket that would have enabled him to reach orbit and call to the entire world, a tragic accident occurred and Ed wiped out the other seven callers. The agency honored those seven astronaut callers by renaming themselves NASA, which was an acronym that stood for Need Another Seven Astronauts. Ed ventured into politics, running for President of the United States on the Square Through Four Years Party. His platform promised a petticoat in every closet. I've always personally liked the pink floofy ones. They're great for wearing while watching football. Ed came up with another innovation to help dancers keep their squares tight. Bringing his dancers to the highest skyscrapers, Ed would lead them out onto tight ropes stretched between the buildings. Unfortunately, the town officials received too many complaints of dancers dropping suddenly into traffic, and the practice, while showing promise, had to be curtailed. Ed has always been world famous for his innovative methods in teaching new students. He would humbly brag that he would only have to show a new dancer once how to do a call, even calls as complicated as Grand Square. His teaching method included borrowing two of Carol's house cats. He wouldn't feed the cats three days before each class lesson. Any student who failed to follow Ed's directions were immediately eaten. The remaining student lesson retention rates were off the charts. Ed Pabst, Square Dance Caller.